Assalamu alaikum. This video is for the hand hygiene coordinators in regions. First of all, go to the site, then enter your uh, username and your password. If the password was wrong, you can uh, press that, uh, that you forgot it, and then a new one will be sent to your email. Uh, from here, you can change uh, the language and if you want to change your password from profile. Uh, the home, you will see a tracker for your um, uh, program. Then, users, when you want to add a data collector, press Add New. The data, data collector is the person that uh, filled the hand hygiene form. So, for every hospital, they may have one or more than data collector. This account is not for a hospital, it's for a person. Uh, the reason for that because if we want to contact uh, the person that um, uh, filled the hand hygiene form, we can. Uh, but if you uh, do, uh, if you make just one account for a hospital and there's three or four persons that fill it, uh, you cannot uh, contact uh, the person uh, uh, himself. So here, just try. Uh, his or her name, the email, the password, uh, the region will be the same uh, region uh, as yours. And then by default, the programs will be there, the hand hygiene and the hand hygiene self-assessment. Here you choose the um, hospital name, then press save. Uh, once you uh, do that, you will see uh, the name of the data collector uh, here in the main menu. Uh, if you have long one, you can uh, search them by name or by email. Uh, on the right, you will find uh, three uh, different choices, uh, one of them to edit and the other one for delete. If, you, if that person is not working in the hospital anymore, you can delete that person. Uh, but if you delete that person by mistake, you cannot add him um, um, another time. You uh, must contact us in the GDIPC. If that data collector forgets their password, they can do the same as uh, I explained the first. Just press that they forget it and uh, a new one will be sent to their assigned email. So here are the health facilities. Uh, when you go here, you will find all the health facilities in your region, whether they are hand hygiene, uh, enter the hand hygiene program or not. So please don't uh, delete um, them. If uh, there is hospitals that is not in your region anymore, uh, they are closed, or if there is new uh, hospitals, please contact us to add or delete hospitals. Um, the only thing that you can do uh, for each hospital, enter edit, and then you can add their, uh, the email of that hospital, the city, their phone number, the name of their CEO, uh, the bed capacity, the region, and the type of the hospital. The name of the hospital, you cannot change it. So press then save. Uh, so please uh, contact uh, your um, uh, region manager, the infection control manager, to discuss with him or her uh, the, uh, the, the health facilities in your region. Uh, then go to programs. Uh, you cannot enter any program unless uh, only the hand hygiene and the hand hygiene self-assessment. If you try to enter it, it will not permit you. Then go to the to dashboard by the end of each month to check the compliance rate for uh, the hospitals in your region. Just choose the hospital that you want to check and press search. And then you can see their compliance rate, either for the last month, if you want to, to see it in the two, three, or even one year. Just uh, choose them and press view. Uh, archives, uh, when you go there, choose the program and then you will find here all uh, the hand hygiene uh, forms that have been filled in the past. You can extract it as an Excel form by pressing download. Uh, I hope everything is clear. If you want to, if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much.